You're on mute. Thank, thank you, Scott. And have what, what a pleasure. Have I, I have to tell you that, you know, I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, but during my athletic career in canoeing, um, I, I really kind of cut my teeth on the Nantahala River down in Western North Carolina at the Nantahala Outdoor Center, right. which was really interesting place. You know, their retail operation, their store in the middle of nowhere, Appalachia, and their mail order was a really amazing way that a lot of people got exposed to the North Face um, and, you know, doing a, a pretty extreme sport, you know, far from the, the 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 bigger cities in the Southeast. And, you know, they'd buy their gear and then they'd go back to Atlanta and Charlotte and Chattanooga and Knoxville and, and the, these places. So I, I just got to tell you that that fond memory for me and just sort of seeing the way people really kind of picked up on the various outdoor brands and how they kind of left the Nana Hill Outdoor Center and the gateway to play for, for brands like North Face. That was really cool. I love what you actually said about healthcare uh, and the way people take care of themselves a moment ago. I, I wonder with your perspective and the lens of your own values, which of the companies that are sort of more in the similar space as North Face up and coming companies do you see doing a good job, you know, of, you know, really putting their values first and, um, you know, really seem to be kind of meeting the, the outdoor world where we are today. Like if you were investing, like what, what are the companies, the up and comers that you like and you see in the outdoor industry? Well, you, you always have to put Patagonia out there. And they're a billion dollars, but they're still up and coming. And they're they're doing a great job of putting their values forward. There's a company yeah. called Cotopaxi, C-O-T-O-P-A-X-I. They're doing a fabulous job of what they're doing. There's a company out of South America called PACA, P-A-K-A. -A, and what they're doing is making products out of alpaca. Uh, if you go to their website, they do transparency with respect to how the animals are raised and animal husbandry and, and what the pipeline is and how that comes in to be able to, to deal with them. Uh, the, you know, those companies are really, really good. Uh, if you look at uh, some of the other companies right now, I would say those probably stand out. But everybody, I think, is... Uh, is admiring what uh, what Patagonia did in terms of turning the stewardship of their company over to a foundation and tried to put the money out there where they were because large companies can have more impact than small companies. And so the small companies are the ones that are fun. They're the ones I think that'll be the future uh, but uh, out there. But th those are the two that jump out. I've, I've got a whole laundry list of others I work with. Yeah. That people contact me all the time because they, uh, you know, they wanted they want to be a North Face, and I tell them, don't be a North Face, be your own company. <laughs> Scott, just a really quick follow up, and 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 I promise I'll be short with this. I love that you said Coda Paxi uh, Davis is a, is a really good friend. Do you, since you mentioned Patagonia, I was wondering if you have like a cool story, a personal story with Yvonne that you might be able to share with the group or something that you guys collaborated on or an experience you had together that, you know, might be sort of unique to, you know, for this group. Do you have any good, good stories with Yvonne or Patagonia? Well, I mean, the simple one is that we we did a new office building when we set up uh, in Berkeley, because we kept outgrowing everything we had, and we mm -hmm. were able to do something that had, uh, you know, a street of light in it, where you had uh, uh, windows that opened all the way across the top of the building, so there was fresh air and everything. And so we had a grand opening, uh, and we brought Bucky Fuller in to talk about it. So we invited uh, Yvonne to come up, and he came up, and and he looked at it, and he said we need a new office building. We need one down there in Ventura. And so he's, I said, well, you know, whatever. I don't think the people that designed ours want to work down there. He said, I don't need them. We've got great people, but now I can see how it impacts it. And so he went back to Ventura. And if you've ever been in their operation there, it's a great, great facility. And it really inspires people to work. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hap.